Alrighty guys, what is going on? Corbin with Corbin's Corner Reviews back again for another episode. And today, you're not going to believe me if I told you, I live in Michigan. It's January 3rd. I don't know what's going on. Um, we had like polar vortex BS Arctic winds like last week and it was like four degrees outside. Now it's 48. So whatever, let's throw. Um, so today we have the... Uh, BG Sorcerer. You guys have been coming after this one for a while. You've been wanting to see it for a while, so figured I would give it a shot. Uh, but before we get started, I do have two sponsors. Thank you very much to Black Sheep Baggers. BlackSheepBaggers.com. Uh, use code CORBIN5 for 10% off. Bags, boards, accessories, apparel, all the good stuff. Their customer service is top-notch, so check them out. And the Cornhole Cave. He's a brick and mortar out of Wichita, Kansas. Um, really great idea. I like that he's, he's actually making his own boards now. Um, I think he's making his own bags now, too. So bags, boards, apparel, accessories, all that stuff. Talk to the owner. Go to an actual store to pick out cornhole stuff. It's really cool. Uh, and I do have a Patreon if you're so inclined to support me Why down below. Okay, put your gloves back on. Uh, Peanuts, you know, refusing to wear her hoodie and whatever. So be it. I had to get out here. Um, you'll notice the Camaro is gone. A Cobalt is there in its place. The Cobalt's about to be gone because uh, the motor exploded. So, you know, here we are. I had to push it down the driveway to do this video. So that's how much I like you guys. <laughs> that's how much... I had to get this done. Um, so let's just get into it. Uh, BG Sorcerer, everybody likes them, everybody wants them. They're just awesome. Uh, it's just the way it is. I was lucky enough to stumble upon this set. Uh, I did have a set prior. I had one of the um, the pink and blue and purple and stuff, uh, one of those ambassador only sets. Bought it off a buddy of mine. And then uh, I was looking for more and BG kind of reached out and they ended up making me some customs. So really sweet there. Thank you very much to them. Uh, these bags are phenomenal absolutely phenomenal so we'll get into price um when they have their public drops i believe they're 125 plus shipping on their site so you're paying like 135 136 something like that it's kind of like ultra pricing but not really current ultra pricing because ultra kicked up to like 160 bucks on viper hires <laughs> so i i don't know um but it's kind of ultra pricing um Break-in method. I did Toss Sauce Carpet Muncher, little splash of Wrinkle Guard, shoptosssauce.com, Corbin 10, 10% off right you there. Uh, they came out pretty awesome. And then I had to throw them a bit, you know, because they come out a little quick after the Toss Sauce, and that's not the Toss Sauce's fault. That's literally just because they're carpet. So they're going to be a little quick. Uh, you need this fast side to kind of break in, break down the slow side. Same thing. It's got to break down. It's got to get a little slower, but now they're absolute money. So that brings us into speeds. Uh, slow side, I'm going like five to six. Fast side, I'm going nine, nine and a half sometimes. Just depends. I mean, they're they're good. Uh, I like the speed range that they have. The fast side's a little much for me sometimes. Uh, you just have to control your push. If you're pushing a little too hard, sometimes it pushes them over the hole or it'll skip the hole instead of falling in after the bag. But that's kind of just a control thing. That's a finesse thing. You know, don't throw a bag too hard. Uh, if you don't want that to happen. So uh, we'll get into our three Fs. We got fill, feel, and flop. Uh, the fill, it feels like mostly disc. Not 100% sure. And I got to put this in there. It, when I'm doing these, when I say the fill, I don't talk to the manufacturers beforehand. I'm literally feeling it through the fabrics, right? So I'm kind of guessing. Uh, this one's mostly disc, though. I'm going to the fish on the floor. Okay, go ahead. So, uh, mostly disc in there. Overall feel is great. The corner seams and edges are awesome. Uh, closing stitch is really nice on these. I really like the template on these. They're a little bigger than your regular BG. So picture like Shapeshifter if you've thrown those. And that's what this fast side is, by the way, Shapeshifter fast. Um, if you've thrown the Shapeshifter, you know what kind of size I'm talking about. And it's perfect. It's just a little thinner, a little bigger, really, really nice. Um, but everything is good. Sublimation is absolutely wonderful. Uh, the bag is just high quality. And then flop, they actually get really floppy for a carpet bag, they really do. Uh, and that's partially the carpets that are used, that's partially the fill, that's partially the fast side, just is what it is. So uh, playability, anything that carpet can do, guys. Blocks, pushes, flops, cuts, rolls, air mills, all that good stuff. Sneak around and drop on both sides, actually. The boards today are a little sticky, and that's actually okay. It's kind of humid out, but that's okay. Uh, the slow side is still playing perfect, it's still friendly enough, and the fast side is just money as usual. So uh, let's get into it. Um, so these, I mean, they're kind of like, it's, <laughs> this is like my number one and number two back, right? So the, the Viper R, you guys know, I loved that for a very long time, right? And I still do. So that's where I say it's my number one and my number two, because get up, can't side rail that, um, because I alternate between these and the Viper R's. Um, and it kind of depends who my opponent is, kind of depends who my partner is, and it depends what I want to do as far as 
gameplay goes. Uh, if I want to be a little more dirty and I want to do some more carpet things, I'm going to be throwing these. If I want to uh, go more like four in the hole and just block here and there, I'm going to be using Viper R's. So that's really the difference for me. Um, these are a more carpety bag, if that makes any sense. It's just the carpet can do more carpet stuff. Like with Viper R's, I tend to get that. I know I pushed it a little hard and try to airmail drag it anyway. I tend to get that shark fin when I try to roll um, that short. When I try to roll the bag, I get that shark fin. You know, it rolls up and then just sits there. It doesn't continue the roll. And that's just the flexibility of both the materials. And that's okay. That's what makes them so friendly. But these will do that sometimes. But I can also get them to be a little more active. And hopefully I can show you that here. So we're going fast side. Just got to loft it. That's really it. Climbs right up. Moves really nice. Uh, I have heard people complain about their collecting abilities. Um, they've said that the fast side is actually too fast oops missed that for a proper collect uh i disagree personally miss that too oh wow save me i think that the fast side does just fine uh it's just kind of how you throw it it's not one of those bags that feels like it has velcro on it you know some bags collect amazing and have no issues other bags you got to work at it a little bit this one you got to work at it a little bit but it's not crazy i kept hearing something over there I'm just waiting on the neighbor to pop out. I know she's going to side rail because I haven't seen her in, you know, two months probably. So I was trying to push that one back up. So I'm going to go normal slide here, see if I can just kind of lift the corner and collect it. Yeah, I missed it. Might still fall. There it goes. But yeah, this fast side is stupid friendly. Um, I just, I really like how these bags play. I really like how they feel. There's not a lot that I don't like about them. Uh, availability is one thing I don't like about them, uh, but that's that's gonna change. Um, they should be doing another public release here shortly. I thought they were gonna do one in December, but I would think that they might get one in January here. So that'd be good. Uh, they've only had, that was a terrible throw. <laughs> They've only had two public releases. Um, the one with the X's on it. Scoop it. <sighs> Need that like first bag. The one with the X's all over them. And then the uh, the USA Sorcerers, which were kind of public. It was kind of like a manhunt and find what you can. Um, you had to like crack a code and whatever. I'm really trying to lay a block. Because <laughs> I want to try and flop around them a little bit. But... Uh, they're good. Yeah, see a nice little cut. I didn't quite throw it hard enough. I'm gonna try to flop over this one and then collect it. Yeah, or just throw it way too hard. Maybe I'll just flop cut around that one. Ah, threw it too hard again. But they're just good bags. Uh, when they become readily available, they're gonna be really solid. My hands are getting a little chilly, but humid, 48 degrees whatever i can handle that let's do another down and back here um but yeah the sorcerers they're they're wicked good they just they are bad side here i'll grab it and fall yeah that's part of it they're just so friendly it's ridiculous even fast side i mean and i'm i'm really enjoying uh, the slow side in the winters here because it gets pretty dry inside and it's a little quicker. This fast side is just awesome. Try my best to flop over this one. I'd like to get a good one. Ah, <laughs> I hit it just a little low. It was there though. I wanted to keep going. Bloop. Yeah, these these are awesome bags. They're they're easily in my top two. I mean, these and Viper R's are essentially all I throw. So. I see the sweet logo there and that's just sublimation that's not the material they just made it look like the slow side there but they're pretty sweet they're pretty sweet oh that's right yeah i just can't believe that it's literally january 3rd when i'm recording this and it's so nice out do a little cut into there voila and let's try to airmail one to finish. 
That's short. It wasn't short, it was just right. All right, one more down and back. One more. I talked a little longer on this one than I normally do, but it's because I was so excited about them. And I had to explain my absence. And you guys will see videos. I'm going to post this video this Sunday. Um, you're going to see videos that are older. I definitely have videos that I'm still putting out. And that's just because I had a ton recorded. And that was intentional because Michigan winter. You guys know how it is. I never know when I'm going to be able to record. Um, I do have a couple places to possibly record, but collect. There it is. I'm just not a huge fan of uh, calling in those favors all the time. You know, I just don't like to do it. Um, so, you know, this, this situation presented itself. Um, surprisingly, I'm off work today just because it's observed holiday. And uh, so I guess it's January 2nd. I lied when I said it was January 3rd, but it's January 2nd. Try that collect here. Look at that. Uh, whoever tells me they can't collect is drunk. Yeah, they're, they're good backs. Finish her out with the airmail. Ah, oh, couldn't four bag <laughs> to end it. <laughs> but that's okay. So that, guys, is the uh, BG Sorcerer. Um, hands down. I'm not even going to lie. This is BG's best bag. It's the best one they make. Uh I like it a lot. And that's coming from a carpet guy, uh, but I think non-carpet people can still throw it. Uh, it's it's in the same vein as that Viper R where it doesn't kick too hard, but it is more active. So, I mean, the Viper R is more forgiving. This is more fun to play with. Let's put it that way. Uh, that's just that's just my preference. Um, if you're a non-carpet guy and you want something that just plays like dead straight and true, whatever, go with the Viper R's. If you're trying to get into carpet and trying to like it, but like Vikings and stuff are too sticky, try these out. They're pretty sweet. So uh, that, guys, is the short and sweet on the BG Sorcerer. If you guys like this one, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with your buddies, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks.